Meanwhile, the former president, President Trump, today, he saw shares in his new media company swirl down the toilet uh, when the company had to announce in a regulatory filing that its entire board of directors just got served with federal grand jury subpoenas from SDNY. Uh, from federal prosecutors in the Southern District of New York. It had previously been known that Trump's new media business venture was being investigated by the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission, and by an entity called FINRA, which is a financial industry watchdog. But now, apparently, it's federal prosecutors as well. So maybe that's a criminal investigation now? I mean, if you're trying to keep up, I think this is everything, but maybe there's more. Just off the top of my head, the former president is facing state criminal investigators in Georgia, an investigation there related to his effort to overthrow the government and stay in, stay in power. Also, a state civil investigation in New York related to alleged fraud in his family business. His family business has already been criminally indicted as well in New York. Uh, his new media business may also now be under federal criminal investigation per these brand new subpoenas that just went out. Uh, one of his loyalist lawyers at the Justice Department who allegedly helped with his overthrow the government plot, he just had a search warrant executed at his home. One of his outside lawyers who also allegedly helped with the overthrow of the government plot just had a search warrant executed for his phone. <laughs> I mean, this is fine, right? This is normal. There's eight states having primaries and runoff elections tomorrow, and it is amazing at a very basic level that people are still concerning themselves with the potency of endorsements in some of those races from that guy who I just described. I mean, we're trying to figure out if even his lawyers are potentially going to jail. And he's the most important figure in Republican Party politics still? Really? It's amazing.